Bidenomics is working great. Eh? Eh? Where's my man Thomas out there? Where's 610 boating? 610 boating and Thomas Mosier, Mosier, or something like that. Yeah, let's uh, let's see what you got for this one, boys. Let's see what you got. So here we got from the uh, Beyond the Numbers from the BLS. I I just dude, I, I'm a, an addict of the BLS stuff. I do. I like it. Look, I'm reading. I'm getting, look at this. This is <laughs> 300 pages of the uh, 2009 uh, mathematical policy Mathematica policy uh, re research on the data for how they were able to conduct. Income from the current population survey, the American Community Survey, and another one too, SIP, and I can't remember what that is off the top of my head. And uh, I, we're going to talk about that tonight at the live stream. But anyway, just I just I love this stuff, dude. It's weird, man. It's weird. I'm getting paid to resources, so I appreciate y'all being here. Even Thomas and uh, Six Ten Boating. So make sure you paw that like button. All right. So we're, did the COVID nineteen pandemic affect real earnings? All right, let's take a look here. So. Here's our real earnings right there. So when did old Sniffy Joe come into office? So Sniffy Joe came into office right, well, we want earning right there. We Right there. January 2021, Sniffy Joe came into office. $11.40 an hour was the average real hourly earnings. The uh, average hourly earnings real. That means net of inflation. All right. What's it now? 11.11. Hmm, interesting. So we're going to go back. Right there. 11.40, 11.11. We've lost 30 cents an hour in real earnings since Sniffy Joe's been office. That's a fact, dude. That's a fact. Check this. Trump took office. It was, let's see, what took office? February of 2017. <clears throat> Not January. 10.67. When he, what, beat, ah, huh, wink. 1067, it was at January 1140, almost a dollar more an hour. And when Sniffy Joe is now 30, what was it? Sniffy Joe was, uh, uh, let's see, right there, 1140 to 1111, 30 cents less an hour. Entry, I'm just putting out there, just putting out there. So check this out. Even though Bush, Obama, Trump, all these clowns, look, I'm a Trump guy, I'm not going to lie to you, but the real earnings have gone from. Ten dollars an hour from 2006 to eleven dollars an hour in 2024. So real earnings have gone up all of uh, 10 percent. 10 percent. So let's do our numbers here. So check this out. All right. So real earnings. We just showed you. We're gonna take our trusty calculator and hold on, let me pause real quick. All right. So March of 2006 is 1004 is our uh, present value, and we're gonna come all the way over here to. 1111 is our future value and we're not gonna make any payments we got was that uh is that 18 years 18 years and and so we've averaged a real increase of one of 56 basis points a year basically one half of one percent a year since 2006. huh that's weird because you know who hasn't averaged an increase of 0.56 a year is the wealthiest the wealthiest they've averaged a lot more than that just throwing it out there, throwing it out there because the Republican Party, the new Republican Party said, yeah, you guys have done okay. I think you could probably part with a little bit of that. You know, what if we throw a, some kind of tax, maybe you don't get qualified dividend income and he's got to pay ordinary income tax. Maybe you don't get long-term capital gains. You got to qualify that as uh, ordinary income. Uh, I'm not taxing unrealized capital gains is mind bogglingly stupid. It's like rent control is like the minimum wage. We're not going to don't advocate for that, but you know, throwing a wealth tax on there is fine. Uh, throwing OI as opposed to LCG, LC, LTCG. Oh, by the way, if they increase LTCG to ordinary income, what would that do to shareholders and make them keep their shares longer? That's just how it is. So there won't be much jumping around, which is negative to the market. Market timing is negative. Market timing isn't what these people say. Oh, you're repositioning your portfolio. That's not market timing. Market timing is like, I'm going here, I'm going there, I'm going there. So these guys who buy for six months or I should say 13 months and stuff like that. So they say, hey, if you're going to sell your shares, uh, you're going to have to pay long -term, uh, ordinary income on, instead of long-term capital gain. If you're uh, making a billion bucks, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? I don't care. 
And they'll say, no, I'm not going to sell my shares. Now. Exactly. That increases shareholder value by you retaining your shares and not selling them. Now, when you die, you still get a step-up basis. doesn't bother me. Anyway, I just find that interesting. So I also want to look at housing costs. And let's look at how, oh, I can't really see that very well. Can you all see that? Probably not. There we go. Housing costs. All right. So we're going to look at Sniffy Joe. And right here, uh, we're going to go to 20 right there. So oh, here's my glasses. 483 is a cost. Right now. This is not net of inflation. This is just real. Uh, not real. It's uh, nominal. 483 was the price of the meeting house. Uh, is our present value in 2021. And now it's 682 682 now and that's what three years pablo and that is that is an increase if my memory if my numbers are right let me just do this again because pablo interrupted me knucklehead 3n 483 is our present value 682 is our future value zero payment that is an increase of 12 percent a year on housing 12 percent a year Hmm, interesting. What did our income increase by? Well, if we go to 20, this is nominal eight, eight, uh, hour, average hourly wage. So if we go to Sniffy Joe right there. It went from $29.93 to $34.56. So $29.93, $34.56, three years, is increased by 4.91%. So housing has gone up by three times that of their average wage average hourly wage yeah man i got stuff man i just got done eating some sirloin steak i still like a1 sauce sue me that is not good for sniffy joe's binomics not good my friends and you can say well blah, 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 blah. i'm just curious what did housing do under the trumpster what time is it 6 i gotta get ready to jump on a live stream so trumpster took over in 2017 so we got 385 there so 385 is our present value and then when he was gone q1 2021 483 483 is future value but we got four years uh average 5.833 percent a year for housing interesting 5.88 5.8 percent a year the housing go let's go over here to see nominal wages and he took over in October right there. 26 is our present value. 26 is our present. Oops, 26. Ah, 26 is our present value. And then 2021 right there. And 30 is our future value. Four years. Uh, 3.62. So while not still, as, while housing still beat uh, the average wage, uh, not by as much as Sniffy Joe. It went up by three times housing did under Sniffy Joe, where Trump it went up by you know, one and a half times. Yeah, I'll take Trump, and you should too. All right, love your thoughts. God bless. Paw that like button. Even if you don't like Trump, give me a negative. It's okay, Thomas. I know you're out there. Who's the other guy who's being negative on me? There's a couple other guys. I guess they've come and went. What was that guy's name, man? I liked him too. I forgot who his name was. Yeah, anyway, so Thomas, give me a thumbs down. 610 voting, thumbs down. It's okay. I can deal with it. God bless.